Hello everyone, um, welcome back to another tutorial on COCA. Well, this is the last tutorial for COCA in the English Lexicology and Lexicography class. We look at the one feature that we haven't explored, namely the compare feature in COCA. And this can be useful when you want to tease out differences between two words in terms of their collocational profiles. Um, yeah, and this could be also useful in that way to explore uh, semantic differences between um, let's say two words that appear to be near synonyms okay um, right so let's go to coca um, click on this plus button you will see this compare uh, tab click on that and you can type in your word let's say hot um, versus um, I would say cold okay um, compare two words that uh, may be thought to be antonyms hot and cold and I want the noun collocates yeah, um, exactly one word after uh, hot and cold. Um, okay, like that. Um, and you can just click compare words. Hopefully it works. Um, yeah, so hot and cold collocate tables. Um, yeah, and okay, we see that. Um, you don't say cold topic or topics yeah zero occurrences of topic and topics with word two which is cold um, but there are lots of uh, occurrences of topics uh, after hot um, yeah this one is the ratio of um, occurrence of topic with a hot in comparison to cold um, yeah so and this um at least for hot and cold cold hot and cold sorry you could also see um that um they form kind of fixed phrases like hot topics yeah fixed phrases um and you don't really have the antonym okay um you don't say cold topic um even though you could but people at, at least based on this corpus they didn't say so okay and also cold comfort cold winters this is expected um cold symptoms yeah cold war um yeah it's a it's a term uh it's a name of a war um okay so winter can be plural winters um yeah so you can find out uh, collocational preferences uh, that distinguish hot and cold okay and you could do the same with um, let's say um, synonyms yeah such as um, big and large um, okay so before we see uh, antonyms yeah, collocational preference of antonymous words and they do have their uh, collocational preferences yeah um, now let's see about uh, big and large that you may think well they are synonymous let's see um, fingers crossed okay so uh, big and large um, big leagues okay um, maybe this is a proper name of um, university well you could check that by clicking on this uh, number here uh, because big leagues occur uh, around 1,300 times um, but not with uh, large okay large league um, you can click on here to get to the context okay big leagues um, well this is not a proper name yeah it's come to the big leagues um, yeah so it's a um, league that is important okay um, prominently yeah if we see um, they have different collocational preferences yeah the frequency of big and large with certain nouns differ okay and you can see that from this compare feature and this collocates the relevance of this collocate to this word is uh, sorted by this score values that you can explore um, here in the help uh, button here 
for what does this uh, score show you okay right um i think that's it um for coca and i hope this can be useful and i also hope you have enjoyed exploring uh coca for the semester and i hope to see you again later um bye bye